So I wanted to make it clear that we understand what we mean by the mean and standard deviation and how we can use that to compare two sets of data. So in a, on a very, very basic level, if you had two classes um, of students, class A and class B, and you wanted to compare their results on a test, and you worked out the mean and the standard deviation for both of them, okay? One immediate comparison that you could make is that class B, on average, did better than class A because their mean is larger than it is in class A, okay, 38 versus 33. However, you will also notice that their standard deviation for class B is larger than class A. Now, what that means is that because class A's standard deviation is 4, with class B having a larger standard deviation, that means that their data is more spread out. Okay? So you can't generally say that everyone in class B did better than class A uh, because of the larger spread of data. But you could also bring in words such as class A is more consistent um, in the sense that they are, their results are closer together. While in class B, you may well have some students that are very weak, but some students that are very strong, okay? And the student scores are expanded along the line. So these are some very basic comparisons that you can make with just the mean and standard deviation. What we're going to do next is look at how scaling can affect these results.